In this video, we are talking about phased food forest insulation in the backyard. So sometimes this whole rip out your backyard and plant tons of edible food crops doesn't make sense to do all in one go. With this client, we're working on this in a phased approach. Right off of the back porch, we've killed the grass and planted a lot of perennial herbs. We've got things like chives and thyme here. We've also left space for the client to plant annual herbs like this basil. We've got a nice, beautiful view out into the emerging food forest. And then this whole hedge of elderberries provides kind of a screen and a living room for patio seating um, here on, on, their, on their nice little patio. So as we come out into the food forest, last year, one year ago, we started to plant little guilds, some fruit trees, berry bushes, with some perennials around them. And then the client came in and added more perennials. You'll see a lot of comfrey that the client added. So over on the shadier side here, we've got a few pawpaws. Then here in the middle, we've got some currants and gooseberries with a hybrid persimmon here in the, in the middle to serve as a centerpiece. Over here off to the side, we've got a cherry. And then there in the back, we have an apple and a service berry. What we're doing today is we can come in and look at these lines. We've spray painted these lines. We're expanding the food forest so that lots more perennial vegetables, herbs, and flowers can be planted. So what we're gonna be just coming in and doing is sheet mulching the grass that is around all these plantings. So we're gonna bring in cardboard and wood mulch. And simply by putting the cardboard and mulch here, there's gonna to be tons more room for all those perennials that the client themselves wants to plant next spring because we're in the fall right now. So six months from now comes spring, the grass will be dead. Client can go to the nursery or grow out all their own favorite perennials like these things that we see here. We've got things like yarrow. We've got things like this Monarda bradberiana, this bee balm plant and all these perennials can continue to fill in as food, as medicine, as herbs, as a pollinator attractors, and little by little, without a huge cost at any one time, the food forest will kind of continue to emerge here. So keep in mind a phased approach if you're wanting to ultimately have way less grass and lots of food in your yard.